Grooming has come a long way over the years. As skiing rose in popularity, so did the need to maintain a ski area's heavily trafficked snow surface. Lots of surplus war equipment and homemade rigs were used at first, but as the industry grew, so did the technology, eventually evolving into the equipment you see today. We didn't have any grooming equipment the first year. We didn't know if we needed it. After that season, we figured, well, you know, you get icy conditions, you get all kinds of problems, so you, we better buy a snow cap. There was no need for grooming uh, before ski lifts came along because people were dispersed. But when all of a sudden everybody started in, uh, disembarking from a, a ski lift at the same point, you know, icy ruts developed, moguls developed, so there, there needed to be some way to smooth out the trails. Really in the late 50s with the advent of the Tucker Snowcat, more people started to groom. But even then, what you had for grooming equipment was just the Snowcat, you just pull a drag behind it spikes stick down to break up the snow. Yeah, before my time, there were three tuckers, three steel track tuckers. It was just a conventional engine in the front, and there's four tracks on those. The first rolling of the season was with a steel track tucker and an eight-foot roll, basically. And they had a corrugated roll that also would fit behind a tucker, and then the original Bombardier Muskeg, which is just a one-man, two steering bands, small block Chevy in the back. <laughs> And they'd use that to groom ice. They'd do donuts in the ice with it. Later on, it was more of a utility vehicle. And now they use it as a welding rig. It actually had the bucket and the welder on it when we had it. And they bought the 2100B. I believe that was a 69 vintage. That was the big cycle. Cycle is a single cab in the middle, engine up front, but a wide track. And I was running it in the 80s. It has been around this mountain a million times. That was a good machine. And then the. Dean, when Dean was here, he bought the, uh, the diesel one, which is basically the same machine, and they still use them today. The old workhorse 2100 Thicol is now used for snowmaking. They pile all the hoses and guns in it. And the other one is a bucket Thicol. I think they have upgraded the bucket to the Bombardier and some lot more stable platform. So when we got the bigger Thicol, they had to go to a wider powder maker because it wouldn't cover the tracks. And the powder maker was a wheeled device that went on behind. It was expanded metal that would grind up the snow surface. Powder makers were the implement of choice for a good decade or so. Uh, but then the, the tiller came along. Uh, first, there was an implement called the West Mountain Tiller, which was kind of a, uh, not, not a powered uh, tiller, but uh, was dragged behind. And the, the powered tiller that is ubiquitous today came along in the, uh, in the I guess, the late 80s. Uh, really, that's what everybody uses today. So a lot of the stuff is, was really simple, and the technology has improved immensely, with those, especially with those power tillers. It's unbelievable. Then, of course, when the piston bullies came, they were good. The early ones were PB145s, 145 horsepower. You had eight levers across the thing to run all your functions or your plow. And then the newer ones, they were all electronic. They had the Mercedes diesels and hydrostatic, sunstrand pumps. And then the new one was a 170, and the new 200 was a turbocharged intercooled Mercedes. That was the one I ran until I left in 1989. The new piston bullies were a great improvement, but apparently the bombardiers were pretty good, but I have never run one. And then, of course, you get the real ones here. Groomers come and go as the technology advances, so most of our older machines have long since been replaced. Aside from our repurposed Thicols and the Muskeg, we still have our BR400 Plus with the added bucket and the BR400 MP that now serves the tubing hill, both originally purchased in the 90s. In the 2000s, the Piston Bully 200 Edge and the 400 Park Bully were added to the fleet, with our newest addition being the 400 Park Pro in 2015.